guys, welcome back to Queen G's Recipes and today I'm going to be showing you how to make pizza roll-ups. Now they're perfect for making them on the spot to eat on the spot or you can even freeze them and then reheat them um, once they've been frozen. So it's, very, it's a very, very simple recipe but it's very delicious and I promise you, you will love it. Now, you're also going to be needing a skillet or a frying pan with about one teaspoon of olive oil, if that. And um, what I have here is some tortillas. I just bought some small tortillas. I have 10 here. And here I have some prepared pizza sauce. I also have about two cups of shredded mozzarella cheese that I have shredded myself because I do prefer it over the um, prepared shredded cheese that you buy at the store, but it's totally up to you. And in here I have some pre-cooked pepperoni. I'm also going to add a little bit of Italian blend on the top, but that's definitely optional and up to you. So let's move on to the next step. Okay, so I'm going to show you um, how we're going to prepare our uh, pizza roll-ups. First of all, we're going to add about one teaspoon of sauce, of our pizza sauce. Now just don't overdo it. Just enough to act like our glue for our cheese. Then we're going to sprinkle cheese on top. Now you don't want to add too much of your ingredients because you don't want it to start oozing out from the top, just enough. Then we're going to add a little bit of our Italian blend. As I said, it's optional, but you could also use some oregano if you don't have any of the Italian blend or you just don't have to add any at all. It's like really totally up to you. So. Then we're gonna take the end of our tortilla, we're just gonna fold it in just a little bit. And then from the edges, we're going to start rolling. Just pushing in all of our ingredients. And this is what you should be left with. When preparing your tortillas, or I should say your pizza roll-ups, make sure that you don't put too many ingredients towards the edge that's going to be the last part of your roll up or else all of your ingredients as I said will start to come out either from the top or from the side and it won't work out that well. So just kind of leave a little border here on the side that you're going to end with. Okay guys, so our pizza roll-ups are ready to be placed onto our uh, grill pan or frying pan, whatever you're using. Now make sure you just brush on or maybe drip just a little bit of olive oil, about a teaspoon as I mentioned before, just to kind of help coat them so that they don't uh, get burned as well and so that they have a nice uh, finishing touch on them. So make sure you have your stove preheated on medium, maybe medium low to start off and then maybe medium high to kind of just finish them. So all we're looking at doing here is trying to melt the cheese because our pepperoni is pre-cooked. So um, it's just going to give us a nice color around our pizza roll-ups and it's going to help melt the cheese inside and give you that uh, pizza taste and look that we're looking for. 
Okay, so now that our skillet is nice and hot and we have a little bit of olive oil on our pan, what we're gonna do is we're gonna take our roll-ups and seam side down. We're going to place them on our pan. Now don't overcrowd your pan, maybe two or three, I would say about three um, at a time. And just keep an eye on them. I'm starting off on low, medium heat. Okay guys, so after two minutes, I just turn them. And we're gonna leave them for another couple of minutes. Just making sure you keep your eye on them. Okay guys, so I just put a toothpick in my first one because it was being naughty and it was unrolling, but now that the cheese is melted, it's all nicely glued together. Now I've left them here for another two minutes. What I'm gonna do is I'm gonna remove them from my pan. At this moment, you can definitely just enjoy them or you can actually allow them to cool off and um, actually wrap them up and wrap them again in some um, aluminum foil and you can freeze them and then anytime you want to eat one you can just warm it up in your microwave or your toaster oven and there you have it a quick um, snack or even lunch now if you notice that you need to add a little bit more of olive oil that's perfectly fine just add a little bit more and kind of swirl it around your pan and then just keep on going. Okay guys, so here you have it, our pizza roll-ups. So simple and so delicious. I guarantee you, you will love them and you can make them and prepare them in a matter of half an hour or less. As I said, you could now, after making them, freeze them and let them, actually first let them cool off, then wrap them up nice and tight in some aluminum foil, freeze them and you can reheat them in the microwave, I mean, anytime and or even in your toaster oven, whatever you like, or you can just eat them for dinner like this. I mean, they are just super, super delicious. Now, if you want, you can also eat them alongside some marinara sauce. I mean, totally up to you, whatever your preference is, but I guarantee you, you will love them. So I really enjoyed making this recipe for you guys and I really hope you guys enjoyed watching this video. So don't forget to subscribe if you haven't already so you can see my future videos. And take care, thanks for watching. See you in my next video. Bye.